so this video is about finding the quotient or doing the integer division in javascript so what happens is that basically there is only one division operator in javascript and this returns a uh, floating uh, type okay and if we want only the quotient or the integer division we have got three ways uh, to do this and i'll just run it and show it to you okay so as you can see the uh, this is the first one a simple division it will return the floating point second is the math.floor function third is math.trunk function and fourth is using bitwise not operator okay so bitwise not operator how uh, this works that i am not sure but it uh, gives you the quotient so we have got the quotient over here okay uh, so these are the three possible ways to do it which is the best way to do it uh, okay let's find that out so i'll comment this line over here and uncomment this one so now we have a very large value and we will be using all three methods and see what happens for the small for a small value it does not matter much whichever you use uh, the results are uh, pretty much similar but for a large value let me run this again and you can see this is the actual division result of the division now when we use the second one is for math.floor third is for math dot trunk and both are same values but the fourth one the one that we got from bitwise not that is a different value that is a wrong answer and so we cannot use the th last method this third method bitwise operator for large numbers it will only work for smaller numbers okay now Comparing between the rest uh, two or even the three, which one is the fastest? So for that, let me just clear it and let's move on to this one. Okay, so what I have done is just calculating the time for all of the three methods that we have seen. Okay, uh, so simple node rat two dot js, and now what we see here, uh, the first is for the simple division. It took uh, it took around six point seventeen millisecond. Okay, then when doing floor zero point three, when doing trunk zero point two, and bitwise it's zero point one eight. Okay, so you can run this multiple times. I have run this multiple times, and the result is is uh, the time taken varies every time you run it but the result is pretty much that the time taken by floor is the highest and time taken by bitwise is the lowest trunk is closer to the bitwise okay uh, and it is in between the time taken by math dot trunk is the uh, mm, is less compared to the time taken by math dot floor okay uh, but it is sometimes uh, even less compared to the bitwise operator okay and since we have seen in the previous case uh, that we cannot use a third method the bitwise method this uh, this third method we cannot use it for large numbers so we should avoid it okay now remaining to the floor and the trunk so we have seen that math dot trunk is a faster way to calculate the quotient or to do integer division and so personally i would only use math dot trunk uh, math dot floor takes slightly more time than math dot trunk not a big deal but yeah if it if you can make the code efficient make it efficient so that's all for this video